You've got a big dish, Richard. A uh, very big dish. That's orange. <laughs> um, what's what's the go with this? Okay, so this is a setup for doing um, EME or moon bounce. Yep. Uh, on 10 gigahertz, uh, and this is its second outing, its second operation. Yesterday I worked Rex with it for the first time. Today I've managed to work Roger in Christchurch. What's the size of this dish? So it's a 1.8 metre dish. Yep. It's an ex-commercial uh, dish. Um, everything go, else let's on go, it let's is, go around and have a look. is homemade. You've been working on this for five years? About five years. So yeah, so um, shepherds cook feed, wave guide feed up to the feed. Um, absolute encoder at the bottom. To, to read the azimuth uh, and an inclination um, sensor oh, to, to do the elevation. Trailer mounted. Trailer mounted, it's on wheels, but we didn't take it off because it's just too damn heavy. <laughs> Although my wife and I got it on there yesterday and it was so it's so, you, fun. so you've got the so you got the actuator but you've also got the transverter all mounted in the back yeah, of the yeah, dish. We can show you how to quickly the transverter. Okay, so we've got this set up as you can see it looks a bit odd because it's on uh, it's on an angle. That's because basically, even though it looks like it's vertical, the actual uh, wave front is horizontally polarised. Yep. So that's because Rex is horizontally polarised, and most people are, except for some of the Europeans and whatever. So, um, I think you can see in there, obviously, a, a Kuhn transverter, G4 transverter. This is the new uh, PA from, from Jack and the, the boys over in, um, in the Netherlands. That's a 20 watt PA. Um, there's a 10.5 volt DC to DC converter over here that, that's what the PA drives on. How much gain do you reckon it has, the dish? Look, I couldn't tell you the gain, uh, but I'm receiving... Um, Roger's got a 1.1 metre dish, yep. he's running 60 watts and I'm receiving him at minus 13. Right. Which is really quite good. He's receiving me at minus 20. Yep. Um, minus 19, minus 20. So the difference between the 60 watts that he has and the 20 watts I have probably accounts for that. So, and so then that's hooked up to the 9700 and you're driving it over here and... Yep. So the, the, the tracking system is a, is, is a res track. Yep, so if I, can zoom, if I can see that, yeah I can see that. So this, um, so this automatically tracks yep, the correct. moon or the sun or whatever you or, want, yeah? Or, or whatever you want, yes, correct. Which is doing quite well, we've had to have a quickly a hurried move because of a slight design flaw in the thing, but that's okay, we worked around <laughs> it. Um, and this is and this so th is this the uh, this is the controller. That's the res track, yeah. It's yep. by uh, N8CQ, Gary Alacrum. Um It's a really good system. It probably looks a bit messy, but with all the work that I put into the dish, that just they can come second. Plenty of time for that. So. And then we've got so WSJT running here. Um, so yeah, so you in QSO with Rex at the with moment, Rex, yep. who's only what about six kilometres away as the crow flies. But uh, 730,000 kilometres away uh, by radio. Yep. So, um, and then you've got 7300 and yep. we're all GPS locked. And what, GPS about, locked. What, what about this little this device? This little box is something that um, I use to basically, it's a little um, eBay RF power meter. Uh, sure and I, I use that to, that to, um, it's a bit of a noise, maybe change the angle. Yeah, the, the sun, sun's, um, the sun's a bit strong. Well, I use that, I hook it up to the, to the IF and it measures the um, RF coming out of the transverter. Yep. And I can peak up sun noise, I get about 12 dB of sun noise on this dish. So I can peak that up and then make sure that the rifle scope is aligned um, to, the, to the sun. So then the rifle scope is sort of calibrated to where the dish is pointing. And we can use that to just verify as the dish rotates around that it's still on the moon because there's a little bit of inaccuracy that if the the axis of the, the whole thing is not completely perpendicular, then as it goes around, it will, it will not track it correctly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So not so bad if the sun and the moon are in are in a similar sort of position. But if like the sun's way over here and the moon's way over here, then the possibilities for um, mistakes are endless. Yep. But so far it works really good, so we've been getting some really good signals off the moon with, uh, with Roger. So now you can say to people, that's not a dish, this is a dish. <laughs> that's not a knife. That's a knife. Ah, yeah. It's still only small in the big scheme of things, but it's, it's good. I'm really glad that it's going. Alright, thanks Richard. No worries.